Hey guys, I'm just Tall Opinion here with another home maintenance tip. And on today's project, I'm going to be showing you how I repaired this door that wasn't latching correctly. As you can see right here, once I close it shut, it's not latching on that striker plate. If you do find any value in this video, don't forget to follow and subscribe for more content like this. But anyways, before I adjust the door, I always like to look at the reveal. That's that little space between the door jam and the door. It's usually about a quarter inch gap. If it differs, you're going to have to adjust the door maybe by the hinges. But in this case, the door is square, so I'm not even going to be messing with the hinges. What I am going to do is that I'm going to move this striker plate a little bit away from that doorstop on the jam. I'm only going to move that striker plate about an eighth of an inch to the left, so I am going to need to cover the old screw holes. And for that, I am going to be using some of these golf tees, and also I'm going to apply a little bit of glue to them. This is going to help fill in those holes. That way, when I apply the screws, it's not going to be loose. Everything's going to be nice and tight. You can also just use longer screws if the holes are just a little too big. But like I said, I'm only going to move that striker plate about an eighth of an inch to the left, as you can see right here. See? You can also move the doorstop on the jam a little bit to the right if you want. The only thing with that is that the caulk's going to crack, and then you're going to have to recock and repaint the doorstop there. It's a little bit more work, but hey, whatever works for you. In this case, now that I move that striker plate, you can see the door is latching now. It's a super simple fix, so if you have these types of issues, you could get them done in no time. What do you think of this repair? Do you like it? Would you have done something different? Let me know in the comments. If you want to get any of the tools or materials that I use, go to my Amazon storefront. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Jalapeno Solutions. Boom!